Good um, good evening, everyone. Um, I am Tanto Benjamin, the CEO, Big Benji Graphic Design Studio. <coughs> we can call it Big Benji Studios. Um, today we shall be talking. First um, practical session shall be on uh, creating a um, um, business card. As I earlier told you in the theoretical part of it, I said. The first thing you need is inspiration to do this um, um, this card. You need to search online. Now you go to business card design. You will see a whole. You come to image. You see a whole lot of designs. You know these are designs that you can find online. It gives you inspiration of what you should do. Okay. Okay, I just want to do a simple design that um, will not take us much. Gotten this. The next thing you need to do is you return now to no. You take now business card size. You need to know the size. Some people yet I did not tell you guys about the size. That's the size of a business card. It's three point five by two inch. Okay, so now. <coughs> You come to your uh, to your pixel app. To start with, you come here. That is this. Um, you look below. You, in the below, you see some icons there, and uh, you will see this one with um, with double uh, squares. That is below here. You can see it is in blue now. You come to image. Okay. Image size. Now you come here. Um, it was 3.5, not so. 3 point does not work with pixel up. So you take 3. Then you put 0.5 on the height. Um, point, it's already 2 on the height. That is 3 by 2. Okay. Just look at your screen. You'll see that the size will change. You see it has become, it has been reduced now to a business card size. Now, since what I chose was white, red, and black. I have now to come here and uh, choose color. I have to take it into white. Okay? Now it is white. <coughs> what next do I need to do? Let me bring in my business name. Okay? Then I come now to A. A is where you can see writing. Text. You add text. You edit. Now I bring Big Benji. designs okay okay that is my business name we are talking about designing okay and then the next thing I need to do now is to bold it bold it you come here you can see here style you come to style you bold it it's bold now okay I confirm. Let me look at. Now you come to fonts. You can see your fonts here. You click on fonts. Okay. Let me let me bring it into capital letters. Now it's it's been created, yeah. Okay. To bring out the design that I showed you in the beginning. Remember. Let me bring back the design so that you can see. This is what we will have at the end. This same design is what we need to have at the end. So we return back here and uh, here in the middle. So after bringing this name, okay, <coughs> uh, the business name first is what you need to bring. You bold the letter is what I have done. Um, the next thing is you decorate your card. You decorate your card. Okay, so now. Let me position this here. It's yet to be put in. It's yet to be on its right position. You come to this middle. After the A, if you look below here where it's in blue, it has been changed into blue. You come to shapes. Now, you make choice of your shapes in order to have um, this design. Yes. Now, what I need to do is I bring in this shape. Because of color is not visible, I needed this. 
okay I need this it's a uh, it's supposed to be upside down so what do I do I need to rotate I carry it here I need to rotate okay this is what we need to do in order to have that same design I showed you guys here this is what we need to do okay now the next thing is um, okay the next thing is the red let me bring in the another shape again this uh, now is the black okay so now the next thing we need to do is to bring in the black what do we do we rotate it again we need to rotate it again we need to rotate let me just use the simple means of rotating by this angle okay okay now this is what you saw right okay now since this one has been positioned what i need to do is i lock it you come to this um right up on the right you see some uh, some um two boxes something that indicates like copy you you will see the signs so I, I lock the red because red is okay in that position now i need to work with the black okay now i position my black the next thing i need to do after this um i decorate after uh, that's the decoration i have placed on my on my card the next thing i need to do is now let me bring in this logo this is the logo size it in the circle form because that's the logo I'm going to be using for this session. I have um, another logo, but I choose this one to use. Okay. Uh, that's my logo. Now I should have preferred to use um, another logo or oh, another logo background but because <clears throat> the background the picture is wide so it's making it looking the same as if it's not um visible that's the reason why i need to think about a color that would change this background i need to change the image so i take it from gallery let me look for something like cream white yes let me look for something like cream white that will be visible you know that's it yes let me bring it now okay then this image this color i need to change it please um permit me change this color because uh it doesn't suit um what i wanted because things have changed too so let me bring in this this is my favorite color blue i'm a fan of blue i can emboss the image now to see how it look like you know it looks more professional in this form okay so i centralize my logo <coughs> okay now um the next thing the next thing that we need to do the next thing we need to do now is to bring in contact okay so now um let's say email uh claims to know gmail.com you bring in your email reduce the size Um, reduce the size um, then now since you what you need to do I import now my email logo okay um, 
let me bring in my email logo to suit this is what we do okay that is it this, this again and <clears throat> contact since it's international I need to put the code plus two three seven that's my whatsapp uh, that's Cameroon code six five nine four seven seven zero one six okay so that's um uh, WhatsApp, we we'll reduce it. Uh, now you import your image. Your image. Okay. That's it. Now you go to your A. You you bold it to be visible. And uh, now I combine the email and then the email logo so that they'll be moving together. Okay. Okay, so we do this. We do this. We do this. Um, now we combine. We have to combine the WhatsApp and the logo together. So now they'll be moving together. Benjamin Titi Clamps, that's my Facebook. Okay. That's my Facebook. Now, what do I bring in? I bring in a Facebook logo. Facebook logo. <coughs> let me make it. Okay, let me choose the round one. Since I am going to be having an Instagram too, since I have an Instagram, let me just search the the logo one time. Instagram logo. Okay. We come here and download it. Download. Okay, so now we come here and we import our image. Sorry, we had this already. We bring in our. We import. Okay. That's that's it. Okay, let us bold. Let me not forget to bold this, please, so that it looks visible. Okay. Okay. Now we bring down the other one that I copied, which is for Facebook. Now, let me bring in the Facebook logo. Mm. 
This is what we do. Okay. We we rebalance them. We rebalance them. Now <clears throat> what next do we do? Okay, now what I need to tell you is um let me add a small design apart from what I have seen online. Look at this. Okay. Let me bring in a small something at the corner. Let me change it. Okay. Now, what do I do for it to come out to what I want? I want to add something at the corner, which is a design. I rotate it. I can just do this. You see? Wow. That's design, right? Okay, now, if I wanted to do a one side, um, if it's a, a two side, the only thing I need to do now is that on the other side, I now put all the information of the business that I do. If not, I would have, I can highlight um, my information also on the space that you see here, but I wanted it simple. Now, if you want to do a two side um, card, you can now go to this, you can now use this, you can now use this as, um, you know, the same size. You turn, you now bring in something else with this same color at the manner in which one to design it because of time. You can design, you know, the, the main thing is the front side of the back side now carries information of what you're doing. If I like, I can add my image on it. This is what we saw, but I've tried to make it different. I can also, let me copy this to make it double and change. Let it not be exactly what I made online. Okay. Uh, okay. That's just it. That's cool by me. Save it as project because I could I could still edit this um, business card. Okay. Save. Okay. Now I save it as image so that always use when you want to save. Come to this um. Um, GB, uh, um, this you come to custom, you you choose ultra, ultra gives a good image. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This was just to show you how you can create your business card design. God bless you, Aramen Tanto Benjamin, aka Big Benji Studios. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, I was forgetting something. I was supposed to put a tag. A tag is like a motto. And Big Benji's um, tag is, um, you think we create. <laughs> you know? We create. You think we create. Or you say think. And we create. Okay. This is um, my my tag name. You think and we create. Now what you do is I have to reduce. I have to first of all check look of I yes, I bold it. Then um let me choose um regular. Uh no, let me think about yes, the bold regular. Then now you need to reduce it in order. This is where you need to size it. Let me size it from here. Okay. So that's the tag name below, smaller. I need to put it now visible in another way to be, you think we create. Now, let me look for a color that might uh, give the difference. Not It need, it doesn't need to be too different from um, the, the main um, 
color above you think we create okay uh, that's our tag name let me see if i can emboss it okay that's that for it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much and uh, god bless you